Good morning! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Amelie if you're new here and welcome to a weekend in my life. So it is around 10 30 a.m. I just made my bed and put on this cute little workout set. I'm going all navy this morning. First thing I do when I wake up is my morning rituals journal, which is just a really good way to set an intention for the day. So it asks you what you're committed to today, what you are embodying the essence of, and then there's like a question of the day. So today's question is, what haven't I celebrated in my life that deserves celebration? So I'm gonna do this really quickly and then we're gonna get this day started. This weekend is going to be a really fun vlog and it's also going to be a really good mix of like balance and truly to show you guys how I live day to day because later today I have one of my friend's birthday parties and it's really fun because it's like a Marie Antoinette theme so we're going all out. I got like a corset, pearls, like a bunch of lace. It's gonna be super fun. So I'm really excited to take you guys with me to that because everyone is going all out and I think it's just gonna be so cute. So that's later today. But before I get ahead of myself, it is time to move my body. So I'm making myself some AG1, which I actually talked about in my last video, but it's got lots of multivitamins, minerals, it's good for your skin, gut health. And I just feel like it leaves me feeling so much more energized. So today's gonna be a really long day, so I'm gonna make sure to drink this. Now that that's done, the plan for this morning is to go to the gym because I'm feeling like training some upper body but in my like split today is also supposed to be a long run day so I'm thinking that we're just gonna do a little bit of both probably like a three mile run and then some upper body I've been kind of playing around with my split just to like see what I enjoy the most and this week I didn't really do as much lifting but I did do a lot of Pilates and cardio so I think that's why I woke up craving a lift today just because I haven't done it in a while so I'm still kind of like playing around with how much lifting, how much Pilates, and how much cardio I like in my routine. But so far what i found is like two days of Pilates, two days of lifting, and then one like dedicated long run day is what works really well for me. So that's what we're doing today. And then I also have to do my laundry. So I'm gonna do that and then we're gonna go to the gym and start this Saturday with some movement. I just finished my workout. I'm a looking a little bit sweaty right now. I didn't really want to sweat too much because I have that party later that I was telling you guys about and I didn't want to have to wash my hair, but I definitely do now, so that's great. But it is like one o'clock, which is kind of the only bad thing about sleeping in because recently I've been really like prioritizing sleep. Like I used to be someone who would wake up at like 7 a.m. on the weekends, but now I'm like, why would I do that if I can get like my full nine hours of sleep? So I've been sleeping in, but that just means that I get to the gym at like 11, which means I work out until like one, and now it's literally already one o'clock and I've done nothing with my day. I think I have to start getting ready for this party around 2.30, cause it starts at four, but like I feel like it's gonna take me a while to get ready. So I have to go run some errands. I think I might have to go to Target to get her a little gift. I have like half of it, but I just want to get her a candle or something But I'm also literally in my downtown right now So maybe I'll just drive up there and see if I can find something anyways I have to get her a gift and then I also want a coffee because that's like my reward for doing my workout today guys when I tell you I was humbled 
I haven't really been running that much recently. I would say like the end of 2023 was like my big runner girl era and I ran my half marathon and I was in like the best shape ever long distance wise. And then this year, January, February, I was really prioritizing sprints. So I was getting faster, like my mile time was dropping. And then I got my wisdom teeth taken out and I kind of stopped prioritizing distance. And then today I was like, okay, like I'm gonna go run three to five miles. I did two and I was gassed. That was actually so unenjoyable, which is super humbling and I'm really trying to give myself grace here but with running I get very competitive and it's really easy for me to be hard on myself because I've always been super consistent with lifting but with running it kind of goes up and down and it's super easy for me to lose progress like just my body it doesn't have that muscle memory or cardiovascular memory like if I even take a week off of running it is so hard for me to run again and I've had times in my life where I've been super into running and I've been able to run eight miles super easily so then not even being able to run two miles easily it makes me want to be hard on myself and like be like why did you do that why did you take time off like etc but you know what I'm really working on my mindset right now with just life and I'm just gonna take this as a challenge we're gonna start from the bottom and work ourselves back up so yeah that's just like a little reminder that you shouldn't compare yourself and you should only look forward don't worry about your past self don't worry about anything that happened in the past because you can't change it it's in the past for a reason you can only look forward and I am how I am me being hard on myself or me being kind to myself it's not gonna change my physical capabilities like I struggled to run two miles and that is the truth and that is how it is but me being kind to myself is gonna make me more motivated and excited to run in the future. So don't be hard on yourself for whatever you're going through. Be kind to yourself, give yourself grace, and motivate yourself to better yourself. I'm actually dripping sweat in my car. It's been raining for the past few weeks, and I think California has like finally decided it's summer, knock on wood, but that means that my car is like 80 degrees inside right now. actually like starting to drip sweat so let's go get a coffee go shopping for the birthday girl and then we're gonna go home shower and start getting ready for this party I just picked up my coffee mmm it's so good first I want to give you guys a little haul but I'm a little bit embarrassed because I meant to buy everything for my friend shout out Olivia and I actually only shopped for myself. So the first thing that I got was this tote bag because I just need like a plain cute white one for like the summer and farmer's markets. And then I've been wanting to try the salt and stone deodorant. It's like natural deodorant that supposedly lasts the entire day and I'm out of my regular deodorant so I got this. And then the last thing that I got that I've been wanting to read for a while is The Mountain Is You. Oh, and then I did also get her a card. It says, Welcome Little Babe. I think this is actually for like baby showers, but I'm going to say like, Welcome Little Babe to the 18 Club because she's turning 18. So that's everything that I got and it was low-key expensive. shower blow dried my hair and it is time to start getting ready you guys saw I ate lunch it is 3 p.m. this is like all of my outfit stuff that I'm gonna put on later but let me show you guys really quick the inspo because I'm kind of scared because I am NOT a makeup artist and I am NOT good at hair and I kind of need to be good at both of those things but these are like the pictures that she sent us. I think I'm gonna go like simple makeup and then for hair, I'm probably gonna do like a half up, half down curl situation. But I'm a little bit nervous because this is really just like not my forte, like hair and makeup and this is literally just feeling like Halloween. But you know what? I might have my Halloween costume for next year, who knows? But we're running a little bit behind because I'm supposed to be there in an hour. I'm gonna tell you right now that is not happening. <laughs> But it's okay. So this is the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. And I'm just going to put this like all over. Because it's like really thin. But it's a really good base. Something that I've started to do is put my contour first. And I just feel like it helps it like blend in better with all of the rest of my makeup. So I'm going to do that. This is the LYS Contour Stick and I love it. It just is so creamy and it makes me feel so bronzed. I always make sure to blend up so that it lifts my face rather than 
bringing it down but i'll put a little on my jaw just keep blending up now that that's all blended i'm gonna go in with nars concealer and just put a little under my eye and on any blemishes i think something really crucial about like the whole marie antoinette vibe is to have a lot of blush this is the pixie on the glow blush and i'm really just gonna like go crazy with it that is a lot and then we're just gonna blend her out i like to really blend it up and then put it on my eyes a little bit then for eyebrows i use the 24 hour brow setter by benefit and i just brush them up for highlight, I use the Merit Beauty Highlight in Citrin, and I love this because it literally just blends so nicely. Okay, I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray and just like really coat my face in it. Let that dry. I have like this glowy gold eyeliner, and I think I'm going to put that on my eyes. Okay, I don't know if you can see it, but she's glowing. I don't like to use waterproof mascara that often because it is not the best for your eyelashes. But when I need it to last, I use the telescopic waterproof mascara and I swear by this. Like, hello, look at that volume. I have to clean it up a little bit, but this is what the base is looking like. I'm gonna line my lips with the Charlotte Tilbury liner in the color Icon Baby. Really going for like a glowy look. So on my eyes, I put this, oh, she just dropped, but I'm like coating on this eyeshadow. It's like kind of flaky and I really like it and it's really glittery. And I'm also just gonna put a little on my nose above my eyebrows and then we're gonna get started on the hair i disappeared for a second but this is the outfit with the shoes i have these gloves but i'm not really sure if i want to wear that i have to touch up my hair a little bit really quick but i'm really happy with how it turned out and then i have this white purse that i can bring and we're all complete i'm just gonna give my hair a final touch up and then do some hairspray and it actually worked out really well because all of the other girls are running late too so me being very behind schedule is like totally fine yay here is one last look at the outfit i also have this little fan i have this bow and i'm not sure if i should put it in my hair or not but now that we're all ready let's go celebrate olivia update of why we changed outfits and what we're doing so we changed outfits because we were freezing our asses off because we look like 1600 strippers 1700 strippers correction she died in 1793 yes yes and i wanted to change everyone wanted to change to jeans a pants and jacket is that your new jacket yeah this is my new bomber jacket i got it this is new this so is new. cute this is also on my closet so they're twins show yeah, the back of the jacket I oh. And now we're gonna blow out the candles. What Wait, what's the best of the party? Yeah, yeah, we need a lighter. Let's have a blow. Happy birthday, birthday, dear Olivia. Happy birthday to you. Woo! And that's it. Happy birthday, Happy Sunday. It is currently 12 p.m. I literally just woke up. You guys, last night was so much fun. I know I kind of fell off of vlogging, 
but it was a really fun party everyone looked so cute and that cake was so delicious we were definitely not very Mary Antoinette about eating that cake though because we literally just went at it with a fork and honestly I couldn't think of a better way to eat birthday cake so that was super fun and then after that we decided to go out to a Mexican restaurant we hung out there for a little bit and then another one of our friends was having a little get-together so we went to that after so I think I went to bed around 12 12 30 which isn't too bad and on days where I know that I'm gonna have a late night I intentionally try to plan a rest day so today's a rest day for me so that I know that I can just sleep in and not worry about working out because working out at least for me on the weekends I like to take my time with it and it can take me like one to two hours so then if I sleep in like I did yesterday when I'm done working out it's already like 1 p.m. and my day is like gone so instead of working out I decided just to sleep so it's still almost 1 p.m. but I got a full 12 hours and I'm feeling rested and rejuvenated I woke up feeling super productive today and just like I want to have a really good Good, wholesome Sunday so I'm getting ready I have on this Santa Barbara t-shirt from Brandy and then I was feeling extra fancy and I put on this skirt from free people my hair is still a little curled from last night so I'm just gonna leave it how it is and then I'm just putting on some makeup because I always feel so much more productive when I have makeup on so that is what we're doing right now the first thing that I want to do is clean my room because this is the current state of what I call my room getting ready yesterday was a little hectic and I kind of just became a literal tornado in my room and I destroyed it so first things first I want to get that cleaned and then rather than just driving to a coffee shop I think I want to walk to my downtown and get coffee there and they actually have a farmers market that goes on every Sunday it might be closed by the time I get there but hopefully not and I just feel like that's such a cute productive way to get my steps in get my coffee and just get some sun because I am loving the weather recently it is so nice and sunny outside and for the literal longest time it was so dark and stormy outside I literally felt so unproductive I didn't want to go outside I didn't want to go anywhere so I'm really trying to take advantage of this good weather because it puts me in a great mood and makes me want to do stuff so that is exactly what we're gonna do I'm going to finish up my makeup and then start cleaning my room and then after that we'll go get a coffee okay room is all clean that actually feels amazing you guys know I always say clean room clean mind and it literally makes the biggest difference when my room is messy I just feel messy I feel unproductive and I just literally cannot think straight so this definitely needed to happen I just wrote myself a little to-do list because over here I still have these packages need to get returned when i have a lot of things to do even if they don't take that long but it kind of just feels like a lot i kind of like to break it down by productive thing like to-do list item and then less productive thing but maybe it's productive for my mental health and physical health and then i'll like switch off so because i just cleaned my room now i'm gonna go on a walk take advantage of this sunny weather and i'm gonna go walk and get coffee to my downtown area it's kind of far it's like three miles there three miles back so it'll be a very solid walk but i'm just gonna throw on a podcast and enjoy the sunlight even on my rest days i still like to stay active and i still like to get my 10,000 steps so that walk alone will be my 10,000 steps so that's just amazing and then when I come back we'll have some returns to do but first let's go on a walk this weekend in my life video to talk about Lucan because on the weekends I like to plan out what I'm gonna wear 
for the coming week and that's actually what I'm doing right now so this is probably what I'm gonna wear tomorrow and I figured that this would be the perfect time to tell you guys all about Lucan so Lucan is a super trendy and affordable Korean clothing brand that offers global free shipping all of Lucan's clothes are sustainably and ethically produced which is really important to me when I'm looking at what clothes I want to purchase because in 2024 I made it a big goal of mine to stop ordering from companies with bad ethics so that was really important for me when it came to ordering from Lucan so I have a few pieces from them that I want to show you guys starting with this one it is this super cute simple black tube top with these baggy jeans I just feel like baggy jeans are really in right now and these are so cute and flattering with like that vintage washed look. Like I said, this is probably what I'm gonna wear to school tomorrow. I've also really just been loving off the shoulder tops recently, especially as the weather gets warmer and we're transitioning from winter to spring and summer. I think that this is just such a cute way to stay warm, but also kind of embrace spring a little bit. And this is just such a good basic for literally anything. You could definitely dress this up or you could dress this down and have a more casual outfit. They also sent me this purse and I just think this is such a fun way to spice up an outfit and like it's literally just so cute like I literally can knock it over this like I'm envisioning myself walking down the downtown or going out to dinner in this outfit I love it I absolutely love this top it's definitely a little bit more dressier than the other two I think this is so perfect for spring especially for anyone who's going to grad parties white is definitely very in and very summery so I absolutely love this I feel like this would be so cute with like a skirt or jeans and they have lots of those on their site clearly I've been really into neutrals recently because the next two shirts that I got are these just super simple long sleeves this one has a little star on the front and then the other one that I got is this super cute shirt that says brick street bar and grill I've really just been working on creating a timeless capsule wardrobe so what's so great about all of the neutrals and basics offered on the Lucan site is that you really can mix and match and make a bunch of different outfits from way less pieces okay I know we were just talking about spring and winter but something about me is that when I'm shopping I like to plan for the future as well so in this case summer and I just think that this screams country concert so for any of my girls with country concerts coming up definitely check out Lucan because I'm literally obsessed with this and and it is just so flattering. And then the final piece I wanted to show you guys while we're on the topic of summer and also I know spring break is coming up for a lot of people is this dress because I'm literally obsessed with this color. I think this screams tropical vacation and it is just so flattering. It hugs you in all of the right places. I absolutely love the rouge detailing. It really just emphasizes the right parts of your body. Okay, I'm putting on my jeans just to show you guys this because something cool about this dress is I feel like you could totally wear it as a top as well, like fold it over a little bit and then boom it's like two in one I love these pieces and if you guys do too you should totally check out Lucan they have so many great pieces if you want more like basics or even if you want more statement pieces they literally have so many trends and they cater to so many different kinds of styles so if you guys are interested go check them out and they actually gave me a code for you guys to use so you can use code Omni for not only 40% off but also free shipping. So go do some spring and summer shopping. Use my code. I love you guys so much. And let's get back to the weekend in my life. And big thank you to Lucan for sponsoring today's video. Okay, I know it's been a while, but I just finished eating my dinner. I made my staple protein French toast. You guys already know I'm literally obsessed with it. Hits every time. And I'm just winding down for the night. I was just watching some YouTube. I'm watching Brinley Joyner. I get a lot of questions about my favorite YouTubers because I'm definitely more of a YouTube person as opposed to like a Netflix person. I love Brinley Joyner, Sammy Clark, Caitlin Nolan, Kylie Holbeck. I'm sure I'm forgetting some, but truly these women honestly inspired me to start my own YouTube channel and they just give me so much inspiration and motivation for the lifestyle that I live and the life that I want to create for myself so I just thought I would share that because I just find that YouTube is such a positive form of social media and it's such a good way to not only entertain yourself but also motivate yourself at the same time that's what I've been doing I'm probably just gonna keep chilling watching YouTube I had a really productive day I didn't really pick up the camera that much but I did my six mile walk I did a bunch of returns I had some work things that I had to do and I did some editing and then me and my family had a nice little 
family dinner and then I was still hungry so I had my protein french toast as well and now it is 7 30 so this is when I really try to like wind down for the night and I put away all of my work stuff homework anything that I had to do now this is just me time so I'm gonna take off any makeup like do my skincare routine watch some TV hang out with my family have a super chill night and I honestly cannot think of a better way to spend my Sunday night I changed really quick so I could do my skincare, but let me show you guys because first I'm trying a new product and then I want to show you guys my new obsession that I truly believe has changed the skincare game. Like, my skin has not felt this clear in so long and I'm going to show you guys. So I used to use these Neutrogena makeup removing wipes and everyone jumped on me telling me that those are really bad for you. So today we're trying out the Pharmacy Green Clean makeup melting balm this is what she looks like i don't really have that much makeup on right now i just have like some skin tint and blush but we're still gonna try she's a little chunky i don't know how much to use but okay yeah i really like that i definitely feel clean all of my makeup is off so this is gonna get a 10 out of 10 from me now it is time for what i swear by and that is the la roche posay cleanser and moisturizer please if you take one thing from this video let it be that you need those two products not sponsored nothing like that i bought this with my own money and i'm telling you game changing so first i'm just gonna put the cleanser on and then put the moisturizer on and then I'll show you guys when I'm all done. The final step is I put on this Tower 28 SOS spray. And now my skincare is all done. Look at how moisturized and glowy I look, you guys. I'm telling you, this routine has literally transformed my skin. It makes me feel so glowy. I used to have a really bad breakout here. It's pretty much completely cleared that up. I'm not having any active breakouts. It's literally just making me feel amazing. So I'm telling you, go buy those products because they are game changing. It is like 9.15. I am winding down for the night. Tomorrow morning, I'm going to Hot Pilates and you guys know, the key to a successful morning routine is having a good night routine. So part of my night routine is packing my gym bag. And on the days that I have to go to Hot Pilates, I actually have to get ready at the gym. So I have to pack up all of my makeup, which is in this handy dandy bag. I have to pack up all of my makeup and my clothes for the day tomorrow. I think tomorrow I'm going to wear these jeans from Lucan that I showed you guys in my haul. And then also the black off the shoulders long sleeve. Also for from Lucan. So now over here I have my bag with my change of clothes and my makeup and then I have my running shoes next to it and then lastly I'm just gonna lay out a cute little gym fit so that tomorrow morning when I'm waking up at 4 30 a.m. and I'm tired I don't have to think I can just wake up get out of bed put on my clothes grab my bag and be good to go. With that I'm going to end off today's video because I'm tired and I want to go to sleep. Make sure that you guys are following all of my other social media platforms it's the best way to stay connected. I post on daily it is all only to say i have instagram snapchat tiktok pinterest ltk literally every platform you can think of i have it so make sure you're following thank you again lucan for sponsoring today's video and with that i love you guys so much and i'll see you in the next one